Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Warm Snow. Now Warm Snow is a game I got off Lurkit. Uh, I'm slowly getting through this library of games that Lurkit has given me and I'm trying my best. I'm trying to get through every single one of them but some of them are just really long or I get so caught up in the game because I'm like oh man this is actually a really good one. Like I'll record the video and then keep playing it and then be like well now it's now it's tomorrow. I lost all my time to like edit the video <laughs> which is hence why i'm kind of like i'm on the on the limb on the limb on the like the, the the bridge between like man should i continue editing my videos or should i just like leave them as is and maybe like throw in some funny stuff i don't know i haven't decided yet you guys let me know in the comments down below spoiler alert that was a sound test i was just making sure that like uh the sound looks the sound of the game sounded really good versus the sound of my voice and it was a really good take so i was like i'm just gonna keep it in the video but let's get into this it's called warm snow this game is called warm snow the uh premise behind this game is that we are a warrior of light of good of good i guess that's bound to kill evil or something like that i haven't really quite figured that part out what i can tell you is that it is a roguelite which means that all the items and uh, weapons and abilities that you get are random. Your run is always different every time you jump in. Uh, what's cool about this game, the mechanic, what's a cool mechanic about this game is that uh, you, when you pick up a relic, you can only hold four at a time. And each one has a skill version of itself, an agility version of itself, which, is, which happens when you dash. Uh, a power version of itself which like it says like oh during your attacks or when this is happening then this will activate uh and then there's the the core version which you'll see in a minute when you get a full rage bar the core ability activates like by itself or i think you have to activate it with the button it's one of, it's one of the two regardless um i think i'm just gonna run with when shooting flying swords, 50 percent chance of flying sword will do fire damage let's just take that because i like the flying swords in this game uh there is a skill tree in this game where every time you every time you beat a, a run or you lose from a run you get uh little crystal thingies oh which i have a bunch hold on one second um add it to the drop table Um, what do I want? I want that, this, those. There we go. Perfect. All right. Cool. Oh, it restarted the entire run. That was weird. Okay. Oh, and then I just destroy. Oh, no. Let's try this again. Okay. Now that I'm back. Oh, I even get a. Okay, hold on. Really? We get a try. We get a purple tricolor right off the bat? Wow. That's crazy. All right. Uh. Really? All right, we're gonna do that one. So when we, so what I want, the, why I want this one is because when the rage, when the rage reaches 100, so when we get the entire rage bar, it automatically consumes it, and then it does adds a 25% frost, lightning, and flame damage to my melee attacks and my flying sword. So we're just gonna take that, which we're already raged, which is crazy. So cool thing about this game, a little bit of story intake here. So there is the oh, oh, I got him for beating the first boss. That's so funny. Anyway, um. So how this game works is there was a uh, a giant dragon god. Um, there is uh, there there was four servants or underlings under them: uh, the crane, the tortoise, the pig, and the tiger, uh, and the dragon, the big bad. Right. So we, as the flying sword holder guy, because we can we have swords that we can fling out and then go pick up. Or I think we have an ability to bring them all back. Yeah, we have a button to bring them all back too. Um, are going to take out these guys, steal their powers, and take out the big dragon boy. That's the whole point of this. We have to do it in one run, though. Because every time you lose, you start over again to the first chapter. With a prologue to the prologue. Back to the prologue of the chapter. And it sucks. Uh, but we have this new thing to worship here. Uh, soaked wine. Flying swords spray a strong liquor uh, along their path, causing the enemies to become drunk. Interesting. When did I unlock this? Burning blade. Increase all attacks. With when attacked, deal additional interesting okay flying sword transforms into a sacred wine gourd 
your flying sword become transforms into a sacred wine gourd. Sacred wine gourd can spray an enemy with a strong liquor and make them drunk, but deals no damage unless they're it's fine. Oh, which we have the crystal. All right, great. We'll do the drunken gourd. Yeah, why not? It's fine. Oh my god, and then we can light it on fire! Oh my god! We're going. Let's go. Let's go. Sc <laughs> Scroll of the Wolf. As you can see too, like where I've done this level a couple of a couple hundred times, not even a couple hundred times, just a lot. Uh we are we're just gonna run right through this part here. And uh Oh, it lit on fire too. Okay, wait. I got you. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, and then we get to choose our path here. Like I said, it's a roguelike, so we get a boss room, or we can go and get money in this room. I'm going to go in the boss room, because the boss sometimes drops really good relics, and I would rather get the relic for free, because it's super, we're, we're super early in the game, so... Oh, am I not getting hurt? Interesting. So I also don't... See, he dropped a thing. <gasps> Why would you rock it like that? So upon sheathing... Once, once we get it, hold on. We get this lightning ring around us, and it does damage passively, which is great. You just get my... Ooh. I think the only thing I don't like about in this game is the archers, honestly. They are just scary. Uh, I want a weapon. Forget the money. I want a weapon. Forget mana. I want a weapon. Ah! Oh my goodness! The dr the 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 drunken oil and the fire is just broken this early, huh? A lot of things are broken this early, actually. This this first level is just really never that hard, honestly. You get hit a little bit. There, you go. great. All right, so have a have a great day. Beautiful. Bring this back to me. We can take this. Frostfall. Okay, so we can increase damage. To the enemy drunk takes. Ooh, this stacks with what we were doing. This is an ability, so let's go down this path. Uh, I'm kind of excited for this game. It's a lot of fun, actually. Like, it's just fast-paced enough for me to, like, really enjoy it. Uh, they don't have a parry, unfortunately. And most games like this, when they do have a parry, it seems to be, like, really busted. And it, you're, I feel like I end up, not that the game, melee is beat, melee attacks beat by 80%. Look how fast this is. Done. It's crazy. Uh, normally, when a game like this has a parry in it, the first thing I do is always try to like putting the parry in my regular repertoire of moves. So my entire like build always revolves around the parry because the parry is so damn good as long as you land it. So as long as you know, which is great. Like, oh shit! Ow! He's gonna land him on fire. Look at his HP go. He's done. Wow, he's done. Sunzo. What is this? Yeah, we can, we can, uh, we can distill that. No, I wanted to do that with the sword. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Okay. Dragon wine. Your burning effect is now upgraded to true flame. The damage is increased by 100% and deals true damage. What is with all these legendary skills? Is this just for the video? This is incredible. Okay. This is our friend. We're going to go back to the next area here. I also noticed that a lot of the voice acting is uh, not been changed to uh, English, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, like, happened to notice it. Um, I think... I want to rank up the sword. Oh, it broke! Alright, I can sometimes fail. It's okay. Um, I think, I think we go for another relic. Oh, the bone! All right, so good thing about the big, cool thing about the big bone is that you can go and use your final melee attack and it'll be a stun, and that's really cool. That's kind of what I want. Uh, because then on this one is a stun. Stun, 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 stun. And because we have the 80% attack speed boost. Oh my goodness. All right, she's gonna give us a full heal right here. Nice, and then she's gonna send us off to Swine Town. Which is great. I'm excited for this. I'm so excited for this. Hope you guys are. Chapter one, scroll the pig. I've already beaten the pig, and I think that's why I think that's why the other statue was available. Because before it wasn't available before I uh, made this video, actually. This is my first time playing after I beat the pig. So it's very funny that that just showed up. I was like, oh crap, that's kind of cool. 
I also really like that I got the uh, the drinking gourd swords, which is great. Uh, because again, drunk in this game uh, is it, you just putting down oil. You're putting down oil and it lights things on fire, which is great. It's good. It's good. Excuse you. Out of here. Nice. Lightning, some more lightning. Just gonna throw my swords at him because I can. Let me just break this open. Oh, no choice. All right, let's go here then. Let's just go to the right. Why not? You just keep going right until you get out of the maze, right? I don't know if that's real. Is that true? Is that really how people get out of the mazes? Is it go to your right all the time or is it go to the left all the time? I can't remember. One of my other fun, one of the other fun builds that I really like a lot is, uh, it's one of the earlier statues you can worship. Is when you can just passively, at you can passively throw swords while you're auto attacking. So then I never had to think about it. I just, I just threw the swords that way. Because sometimes I forget to throw the swords when I don't have, when I don't throw the swords, I sometimes forget that I can throw them. So I just stop. I don't, don't use. They're not part of my move set. You know. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Rage on, too. So when you're Raged up, too, your attack speed also raises. So we're already at 80% attack speed. It raised up to, like, I think almost 110. It feels like 110, anyway. <gasps> the evil befall. I don't really know what this book is about, but uh, it's, uh, it's one of those things. Uh, it, it, if you look at the loading screen... Actually, I'm going to be covering the loading screen because my big fat ass is in the way. But if you ever get a chance to look at the loading screen when you play this game... This thing's face is the uh, is the loading screen. What's he doing? Woo! Laser beam. I'm gonna drink for that. Whoop! Ooh, the blue fire. Do I not get hurt by the blue fire? It can just sit on the ground and I don't have to worry about it? Interesting. My thunder damage can be increased by 15% or every enemy within melee range increases increases all damage you deal by. Oh, interesting. I'll take the thunder boost. Oh, you know, yeah, I'm not going to go for another sword. I'm going to go for another relic. I'm going to go for another relic. I kind of like the sword currently. I kind of like also about this game is that what I also like about this game is that you can throw the sword to see where the enemies are. So you know where to run into and lunge at them where they are, which is great. Ooh, the zombie figure. When attacked, chance to poison it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's just that. That also just gives us movement speed. I'll take that. Beautiful. Oh, my mistress. Oh, my mistress. Let me see. We can heal. Uh, I think I'm okay with what we got. I think I'm honestly okay with what we have. Yeah, let's just go. I don't need the shop right now. Sorry. Sorry, babe. Oh! Twin headed pit. Oh, jeez. You just throw you just throw him crap at me. Nice. And obviously, like, if I throw the swords and uh, it has to go, it, it goes within a line to get to me, uh, I uh, I can um, hit him with the, with, when the swords return to me. We got rid of one of the heads. Here we go. So let him come this way. Oh, is my fury up too? My fury is up. Let's go. He's dead. He's done. He's done. He's done. Yes! Eat my sword, bro. What's this? Oh, another bone. It's a it's a cheaper bone. It's not it's not a legendary status or, or purple status, so we're good. Flicker boost? Uh increases distance. When you have no enemies with the melee range of flying swords, do okay. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's take composure. I like composure. Come to me, my swords. Wait, where do I go? All right, let's do this. Oh wait, I should see what it is first. Uh, nah, I'm good. I want the ability for blades to happen. Where's the door? Oh, right, th right there. I missed it by just a little bit. Uh, let's go with this way. Get an ability. 
Because we have a we have a full we have a full arsenal of uh, relics at this point. Grab all that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I messed it up. I messed up the combo. Got him. Oh, we got the extra speed and the rage is full. Got him. Beautiful. Done. Come this way. Grab this. Ooh, Fearless Warrior? All right. When the Flying Sword takes a chance to deal 360 damage. I think I'm okay with doing an earring aim. Let's do that. Yo, we are getting quite the run right now. We are getting quite the run. Quite the run. I was I really enjoy games like this because, uh, like I said, roguelites are my uh, my weakness. If you guys have been part of the channel long enough, you'll know that uh, I can't stop. I can't put these games down once I pick them up. I really just like restarting and restarting and restarting, trying to get the better run, the better run, the better run, and just working with what you get, man. Like sometimes you get a really good item. Oh shit! Sometimes you get one really good item, and you just gotta you just gotta work with it. Like, or sometimes you get really bad runs, good runs. It, it depends, honestly. Uh, oh, I want to go with Dragon Slash. So the cool thing about Dragon Slash is if I sit still long enough, see I see how my sword is glowing now. This this ability will do a thousand percent more damage. All right, we're gonna go for more abilities. Okay, that does that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come to me, my swords. Yo, the lightning at the same time. This build is pre this build is turning out to be really ridiculous. Uh, raise my more invulnerability when I flicker. This one gives me melee attack speed by thirty percent and a ten percent movement speed. Oh man, I'm gonna go with that. Let's see. Ah, ah. All right, let's see if we can get a better sword. Let's see if we can get a better sword. Get those guys out of the way. Pull this to me. Run right in. Yo! That thousand percent damage boost is disgusting, man. I wasn't aiming. Damn it. I wish we had a little bit of a lock on. In this game, we don't right now, but I wish we did. Uh, poison, frozen, poison, poison. Uh, uh, if a fearless, if you have fearless warrior, mm, I kind of want this just for the melee damage boost. But this one also gives sheath cooldown, which is nice, which lets me pull all my, which lets me pull all my weapons back to me, right? Um, You know what? I'm going to take it. I'll take it. It's not my favorite, but I'll take it. It's not my favorite, but I'll take it. Let's go this way and try to get a new relic. Urgh, get that. <laughs> I love it. Yo, that that was disgusting. All right, hold. What do we got? Uh, let's see. Upon dealing flying sword damage, you have a, ch a chance to shoot a divine charm at the enemy dealing 22 lightning damage. Um, let me that I mean I feel like surrounding you uh, um You know what? Let's do that. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's run all purples. Let's run all purples, man. That's I feel like that's exactly what we need to do right now. Running all the purples. Uh I'm going to go ahead and try to get a purple Excalibur. Ooh, this one's impossible. Sheath Kuzan minus minus twenty-two. Oh, in yes, instant wine god. I'm taking it. Even matches the name of our ability, wine god. Beautiful. Get some more HP, and then we're done. Let's go. Moving on. Is it boss time? Oh, I think it's boss time. Yes, it's boss time. All right. So this man is the swine. He's the he has the spirit of the swine in him. I believe is the story, and we have to stop him from killing these women. How dare you interrupt my fun? You in pain! Both girls go away. We're good. We're good. We're good. But then the swine takes over. And he's also a roly boy. I love this. You guys ever see Cannonbolt from uh, Ben 10? Should have waited. I know better. I know how to fight this guy. He's going to roll a couple times. He, get, he gets tired. Belly flop.
I have so much I have so much attack speed. Okay, one more attack on him now. See the see the giant mark on him? He gets one more attack on him now. The swords explode in his body. Like that. He's gonna roll. This is the roll. Oh! Okay, I have I also realized I I also just realized I don't have any more healing. Which is not good. Yay! Okay, good. Got him. Great. Beautiful. We do so much damage though. Alright, I think I can I think I can do this. Ooh, alright. Here we go. When I first saw this though, I was very scared. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now we're let's go. I guess we're just leaving. And then it's like, nah, bro, what up? Hey bro. Looking for me, bro? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, so I think the answer to this, to how to, how, the best way to do this fight is to throw your swords, but also work on one arm until it's, you're gonna, you're, you want both arms to be super low, is what I'm getting at. Oh. Okay, good, okay, great. I'm on the wrong side. I was on the wrong side, that sucks. No! Oh, I thought I did the invincibility correct. Oh no! Jesus, okay, ow, okay, all right, jeez, relax. Relax, oh crap. Yeah, all right. Well, regardless, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was Warm Snow. You can find this game over on Steam now, today, currently on the store page. And like I said, when you finish a level, like, you get a point and you can put it into one of these trees. So there's the the Remembrance Forge. There's the one for there's the Forge. There's the one for Death and one for Life. The Life one revolves around the Gourd. The Death one revolves around your attacks and attack speed and things of that nature. And the Forge is, like, how what relics show up or the chance of some showing up over others or something like that i believe is how it is i don't quite understand it yet i haven't played enough obviously look at my trees the trees i haven't finished yet so if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like maybe even comment down below what your favorite part about the video it, what, what was your favorite part of the video uh, if you're enjoying the indie content please consider subscribing for more indie content here on the channel and if you want to see indie games live go over to twitch.tv slash rook rules and i'll see you there guys bye bye for now now I'm the king of the swingers, whoa, whoa the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. Ooh,